New South Wales has been involved in the development of electronic conveyancing for the past decade and in 2010, in collaboration with Queensland and Victoria, formed National E-Conveyancing Development Limited, NECTL. Since that time, NECTL has developed an online platform for the delivery of electronic conveyancing. This system is called Property Exchange Australia or PEXA. Just like the ASX developed a system for the exchange of shares, PEXA has developed a system that will remove manual processes and the paperwork associated with the exchange of properties. This will be done by allowing for the very first time land registries, practitioners and financial institutions to transact online together. It's fitting that this should be happening in the 150th anniversary of the introduction of the Torrens system to New South Wales. It brought about huge changes in the way property was transacted and again electronic conveyancing will bring about the most significant changes since that time. One of those changes will be to the Certificate of Title. Now we all know just how important the Certificate of Title has been to property transactions over these past 150 years. However, a paper Certificate of Title that has to be physically exchanged and then subsequently bought to the Land and Property Information, LPI, is not a suitable process for an electronic system. We had to develop a new way of protecting people's rights and providing assurance to the participants in electronic conveyancing. This video outlines the first group of changes necessary to enable electronic conveyancing while still allowing for paper transactions which will be with us for some time yet. We intend to work very closely with the industry and the stakeholders to ensure that any of the changes coming from the implementation of electronic conveyancing will have your input. This video covers the alternative to the Certificate of Title called Optional No CT, how to check if a paper Certificate of Title or CT has been issued, what has changed with the introduction of Optional No CT for paper transactions, arrangements for Optional No CT and electronic transactions and safeguards supporting Optional No CT. A registered proprietor has the right to deal with their land for example to transfer, mortgage, lease or subdivide it. Control of the right to deal, or CORD, is having the authority to consent to the registration of dealings with the land. If the land is unencumbered, the owner holds both the right to deal and control of the right to deal. If the land is encumbered, in most cases the first registered mortgagee holds CORD. Traditionally, proof of cord is shown by legitimate possession of the CT. It is provided to LPI as evidence to show that there is consent for a particular transaction. However, an alternative to the paper certificate of title to evidence cord is required for electronic conveyancing. From September 2013, an additional form of cord exists. Eligible mortgagees have the option of requesting that no CT is issued after registration of a transaction. Initially, only regulated financial institutions holding a registered first mortgage will be eligible to request no CT. If there are no mortgages on title, such as when all mortgages are discharged, a CT will issue. Where a CT is not issued, a cord record will be recorded on the register specifying the cord holder. This means that if a mortgagee is required to provide consent to a transaction in the future, they can only do so by lodging an electronic cord holder consent. How to check if a cord record has issued instead of a paper CT? If there is a cord record, it will be noted on the title search for that folio of the register. A new edition of the folio will issue when a cord record is noted, in the same way it would when a paper CT issues. This is highlighted in the historical search which shows all updates to the register. What has changed with the introduction of optional no CT for paper transactions? If a cord record exists and there is a paper transaction involving the cord holder, instead of lodging a CT with the transaction, a cord holder consent must be lodged electronically. This type of consent is called a transacting party consent and is lodged online by the cord holder through PEXA. Therefore, if settlement is to take place and there is no CT, a transacting party consent must be lodged prior to settlement. 
This is crucial as it confirms to all parties in a transaction that the controlling party has provided consent for the property transaction to proceed and acknowledges that control will pass over to the incoming party at settlement. Prior to attending settlement, the parties involved can perform an online CT inquiry through an information broker or via the LPI online shop to check that consent has been provided for the transaction. The status of the title shows that a transacting party consent has been lodged for the title. The production purposes list the transactions that have been consented to, including the parties to those transactions. Optional no CT also requires that if a cord record exists and the cord holder is not involved in the transaction, instead of physically producing the CT to LPI, a cord holder consent is lodged electronically through PEXA. This type of consent is called a third party consent and is lodged online by the controlling party through PEXA. In the same way that parties can check to see whether a paper CT has been produced or a transacting party consent has been lodged, parties involved in a transaction can perform a CT inquiry to check if the required consent has been provided for their transaction. The status of the title shows that a third party consent has been lodged for the title. The production purposes list the transactions that have been consented to, including the parties to those transactions. Arrangements for optional no CT and electronic transactions. If the documents will be lodged online via PEXA, regardless of whether there is a title on issue or a cord record, a cord holder consent must be lodged together with the electronic documents. If the controlling party is a transacting party involved in the workspace, they provide a transacting party consent. Otherwise, if the controlling party is not involved in the transaction and is invited into the PEXA workspace, they provide a third party consent. Safeguards supporting optional no CT. A number of safeguards have been built into electronic conveyancing processes to minimize fraud and protect interests in land and which support the implementation of optional no CT. In particular, only PEXA subscribers can lodge a cord holder consent. Subscribers are properly identified prior to being given access to PEXA and digital signing credentials. Only regulated financial institutions can opt for no CT. A cord holder consent cannot be withdrawn after settlement has taken place. A consenting party must notify affected parties if a consent is to be withdrawn. For further information, see the Registrar General's directions. If you have any inquiries, contact LPI Customer Service on 1300 052 637.